Hey guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really hope you're doing well and I hope 2022 is treating you good. So I wanted to do a really exciting video on my behalf. I wanted to do a video where throughout the next week I try loads of different things that have been brought out by different brands for Veganuary. might not be aware Veganuary is an annual event where every single January vegans and brands bring out products to try and encourage people who don't follow a vegan diet to maybe try some things out or follow a vegan diet for the full month of January. I've actually been following a plant-based diet or a vegan diet for nearly three years now which is crazy a thing absolutely love it and I don't see myself ever going back to eating meat dairy or eggs or anything like that it's just a personal preference for me just a little bit of background about me I was a meat eater for 20 years and when I was around I think it was 22 I just decided that I no longer wanted to eat meat I found myself very two-faced that I ate meat considering I expressed how much of an animal lover I was but then I realized I would look at a cow in a field and think oh my god that cow is so gorgeous but wouldn't think twice about going home and eating it on my plate in a burger and that really upset us when I come to that realization it was actually a video of a frog that's that I seen that made us just never want to eat meat again and overnight I basically went vegan but I'm not one of these people that sit there and preach the diet and say that you know you have to be vegan blah 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 I will happily get into discussions about it when I'm asked questions but I feel like becoming vegan myself the only way you'll ever become vegan is having a realization moment for you I was walking down Northumberland Street prior to going vegan and there was a lot of pro test as they're preaching about it it's not something that would make me go vegan however I understand why they do it because it would make us probably think about the food chain and where my food actually comes from before I dive into the video though there is a question that is my most commonly asked question when people find out that I follow a vegan diet and I want to answer it at the beginning of this video just because I feel like there is a huge misconception around why people are vegan one question that I get asked all of the time is why do vegans want products that replicate meat or look like meat if they don't actually want to eat meat? Like to a lot of people that doesn't make sense. But from my perspective, the reason that I like to try products that imitate a product that I had prior to going vegan is because I ate meat for 20 years. It's not that I don't like the taste of meat or seafood or anything like that. It's because I don't believe in where it comes from and I don't believe the process and how meat ends up on my plate. I don't like that process and I don't believe in it and now having been plant-based for three years I can truly say that the thought of meat from an animal actually makes us feel sick I can't believe that I ever ate it so voluntarily and I can't believe I liked it as much as I did but now it does make us feel a little bit queasy and sick the thought of meat and there has been a few times where I have accidentally ate meat and I've not felt great about it at all but that is the most commonly asked question that I get so I thought you know just in case anybody isn't vegan and also wonders that question I would just answer it so that Hopefully it gives you a little insight into why we want stuff that tastes and imitates stuff that isn't vegan. But without that being said, I'm just going to be trying out a whole bunch of new stuff that has been brought out for Veganuary. There is so much that has been brought out that I could easily do a part two of this. So if you feel like you would like to see a part two, let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you've got any video suggestions that you would like us to do in the upcoming weeks, please let us know. And I'm open to filming anything. And without further ado, -ta -ta, let's just get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to try my first Veganuary purchase of the year. So I haven't really bought anything that's come out specifically for Veganuary, just because I haven't been anywhere to get anything. But I was in Tesco and I had a little look around and my favourite section is the deli section. But a lot of the time, like Veganuary, people always bring something out that is unreal in the deli section. I remember last year Morrison's brought out a chicken and bacon wrap, which I loved so much. Um, m and used to have a tuna sandwich, which doesn't seem to exist anymore. I just love love sandwiches and wraps they are like a thing that I love so I love it when vegan versions of things come out so Tesco plant kitchen or plant chef sorry plant kitchens M&S Tesco is plant chef but they also have wicked range as well which is also vegan and I think it's Tesco's own brand I'm not really sure when I was in Tesco I seen the plant chef vegan blt and i actually got it reduced i got it for two pound 22 instead of two pound 50 so i've saved like what <laughs> what's that like 53 pen complaining so yeah this is the vegan blt which i'm gonna try i'm having this as like me tea tonight just because i love sandwiches and i'll be quite content with that and then i'm also just gonna have some of the proper chips um 
sour cream and chai but i've had them plenty of times before but let's just try this this bacon oh okay i'm gonna pull a bit of the bacon out just so i can try it by itself oh fuck luna we don't need the added sound effects love he looks a little bit like carrot i am gonna be very disappointed if the bacon is carrot i'm not gonna lie that will really disappoint me are they actually joking? Bacon it can't be. <laughs> it can't be. Flavoured smoked carrot. Are they actually joking? <laughs> you can get some unreal vegan bacon. No way. Smoked flavoured carrot. I am extremely disappointed with that, but we're going to just proceed as a full sandwich to see. guys that is obviously the vegan bacon there which i honestly thought was going to be like the richmond or like you know just something that replicates bacon not carrot i remember once as well though you know boots they brought out a vegan smoked cheese and um like salmon replica thing and that was carrot and it, it just wasn't it's just not what you do don't try and make carrot something else overall as a sandwich it's actually not that bad the mayonnaise and the tomato and lettuce and i do like carrot so it's okay but like obviously because i was expecting a blt the disappointment is there slightly i'm gonna eat it anyway but i am gonna give it a four out of ten simply because the carrot was a huge disappointment um, but overall, is a carrot, lettuce and tomato sandwich, it's it's okay. Um, but I just wanted bacon, so thumbs up. Let's hope my second Veganuary try is better than the first. And I have high hopes for this one. So, the sandwich is gone, but I'm going to have some dessert. Um, I bought these Krispy Kreme donuts. So, they released three flavours for Veganuary. They released, like, a fudge brownie one, a caramel one, and a apple crumble one. The apple crumble one was out of stock, so I got two of the caramel ones, because Sean likes caramel, so I thought he'd have um, that one. Then we can half the other one, and then we'll have... Well, so, basically, we've got a caramel one each, and then half of the brownie one each. I'm going to try one, because I fancy one. I'm toying between the caramel or the fudge. To be honest, when it comes to donuts, my favourite is just like the glazed donut from Greg's. I love it so much. I prefer a plain donut, but I couldn't pass the opportunity to try these ones. So I'm going to go for the caramel one today. It's a caramelly top with a bit of chocolate on it. Leave it. Obviously, I haven't really got much to the inside yet, but I think this is caramel. You can see, like, as I press it, the caramel is, like, squeezing out. It's actually also filled with chocolate. There, so there's, like, caramel and chocolate in it. I liked it. Preferably for me, I am more of a plain donut type of person, but that was undeniably nice. So, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It was good. Guys, I've secured the goods in um, Starbucks. I'm actually really excited because for some reason I didn't think they'd have the Veganuary stuff in. Because every time I go to Starbucks, I just feel like they haven't got what I want. So prior to Veganuary, they had a beetroot wrap. Not going to lie, not really the biggest fan of it. But they did do a Beyond Meat burger, which was really nice. Um, it was actually a really nice burger. So I have high hopes for these sandwiches. So for my drink, I actually got this around the Christmas for the first time. And I don't really like festive or flavoured coffees, but this is beautiful. It's a toffee nut latte with oat milk and vegan cream. And it's really nice. So I got that. Two of the new muffins that are vegan because I got you one. Oh, Because you like the oh, yeah. cookies. Right. It's the caramel and chocolate. But it actually did look like one of the best sweets there. Mm -hmm. Are you disappointed? Yeah. No. So I got that. Then I got this, which is the new vegan tomato and mozzarella toasty, which I really wanted to try. But then I had to get, or oh, I got you a BLT. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yes, yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. It wasn't, it was either that or egg crest, and I thought, well, Ooh, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't have wanted yeah. egg crest, yeah. would you? Yeah. Then I got myself the tuna vegan sandwich. Tasty pre poop. <laughs> pre poop? <laughs> <laughs> Tasty pea protein alternative to tuna flakes, red onion, vegan meal, horseradish, cucumber on rocket malted bread. <gasps> I love tuna, so I'm really excited for this. I, uh, I did buy both because, you know, I thought, well, I'm trying things in this video. Stuff, so this is what it looks like. 
It's quite heavily filled. It looks nice. You wouldn't like it though, because you don't like Rocket, do you? Mm, it's alright. Is that not the thing you say it tastes like perfume? Alright. <laughs> Sean hates Rocket. Every time he has it, he's like, it tastes like perfume. I don't mind it. Right. Ooh, I like it. Mm. Would you like a bite? Smell fishy. I don't know, what do you think? Mm. Got a bit of a thingy. Do you want to taste? Oh, it's good. I do like that though. I would probably say that's one of the best vegan ones, tuna sandwiches I've had. MS's was good and Boots done one for a period of time which was okay, but that is really good. I'm gonna try the toasty as well. Just to see what this is like. I wasn't gonna get this, but I actually think a tomato and cheese toasty could be nice, so I thought we'll try it. It's just like tomato and cheese toasty thing. But cheese is one of them things when it comes to vegan, it can either be like really nice or like just awful. Oh, hot. Hmm. You know what? I like that as well. So, the tuna sandwich, I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. Because I really like it. I just wish it didn't have the extra bits in it. I wish it was more just like tuna with cucumber or tuna with sweet corn, like how a traditional tuna sandwich would be. But I really do like it this is actually also really nice so i'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. they're my ratings but this is starbucks veganuary items they did have more things but these are the things that i wanted to try so i've been out and about and i've got some new veganuary stuff to try i went to sainsbury's purposely one in the vegan baby bell but there's a big sainsbury's which i seen the label for it but there was none there and then the other sainsbury's just didn't even have a label for it so i don't think they're selling it but i did get the plant pioneers no chicken caesar salad wrap which i didn't even know that this was out i haven't seen like much advertising around it but then i also got the subway vegan veganuary new thing i got a wrap it's their chicken tikka wrap because um chicken tikka wrap ideally i wanted to try the um steak because they brought out a vegan steak but the one that i went to didn't have it so we're gonna try the chicken tikka from subway the thing about veganuary is i think it's amazing all these new stuff come out but one i want to try it all and two when there's something that i really like the sound of like the vegan baby bells and i can't get my hands on it it's so frustrating because you know that it's there this is the wrap so i got the vegan garlic sauce and then a bit of salad with it um i'm not the biggest fan of tikka not gonna lie but i wanted to try it anyway vegan tikka there usually the um so when they brought out the taste like chicken normal chicken i wasn't the biggest fan of it i don't think it's the best vegan chicken ever but the tikka is quite nice it has like obviously a tikka flavor i'll be interested to try the steak to see what that's like that's all right i'm just gonna leave that for a minute i actually want to try this i'm gonna just have a bite of one of these probably keep it for later so morrison's used to do a chicken and bacon wrap a vegan one and it was so good but i only literally seen it last january um this is a chicken caesar so as you can see it's got like chicken and lettuce got some lovely bubbling sound effects in the background <laughs> sean's just poured a drink i feel like the chicken they've used is very similar to the subway's chicken and i'm not the big i don't think it's the best chicken like vegan chicken i've had much better like that what what that that sainsbury's one that i got yesterday on that dinner that was good chicken free range that one it wasn't what? it was vegan chicken but it was like a like a chicken chunks whereas these strip ones i often find they're just a little bit weird okay though like i would eat it but it's definitely not the best wrap i've had i have my next veganuary products to try so little moons actually sent me over three flavors of their little moons belgian chocolate and hazelnut then they sent me over passion fruit and mango and then the third one is so it's called pay not caramel crunch so i'm actually really excited to try these i've just had three of the flavors to frosting i'm gonna go for the nut one first because in all honesty i don't think it's gonna be my favorite you can smell it it's really nutty mm. that actually tastes like something but i can't pinpoint what mm, it's actually much nicer than i thought it was gonna be I love Little Moons. Sean doesn't like the kind of thing around them. The rice paper, I think it is. Rice paper. 
not sure if that's the right thing but i actually think they were delicious this actually tastes a little bit like coffee to me they are actually so good that one was so nice i'm gonna give that one a strong seven out of ten i'm gonna go for the next one which is belgian chocolate oh god okay that's rich very chocolatey a crunch in there too mm, i actually really like this one as well this is good mm, i like this one i'm gonna give this one slightly higher rating of an eight okay i really did like that one my last flavor i have is the passion fruit one i feel like this is going to be my favorite because naturally i am drawn to more fruity type things holy guacamole that is so refreshing i love that mm. little moons what are you doing okay this is definitely my favorite nine out of ten I'm giving it a nine because I feel like if I had a strawberry flavour or a berry flavour, it would top it. But that is good. Nine out of ten. I think I might just go and defrost some more then because that was delicious. Little Moon's Veganuary flavours get an absolute yes from me. They were delicious. Okay, guys. So I started eating sushi probably about a year ago and my local Asda has a huge sushi counter. Now, they've got this plant-based, um, well, plant-based product. Now, I tried this for the first time in a smaller pack a while ago, and I loved it so much. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but this is what it's called. Inari? This outer skin thing, I, I understand they actually do not look that appetising, but they taste so good. This pack hasn't came with soy sauce, so I've got my trusty little soy sauce. This is just the light soy sauce. And honestly, I'm going to have these for my lunch. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like them. I hope they haven't changed the recipe or anything because when I had it in the smaller pack, this was my favourite one. Look at it. I don't know how to describe it unless you just get some, but it's like a... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so nice. Oh, well. It's definitely getting a 10 out of 10 from me. It's exactly the same as the little one that was in the big packs, and I love it. Mm. Good morning, honey. Hey, handsome boy, handsome boy, morning clean up, eh? <laughs> mm. This is my morning face. Can you just step off me, please? Do you want your leg bed? Uh -huh. That's his leg bed. Well, sit properly then. You don't look comfortable like that, man. Just slot into my legs like he's a puppy because he still thinks he's a little puppy because we did that when they were a puppy and now we'll have to still do it <laughs> um okay so for breakfast i'm gonna have the plant kitchen vlt now i'm hoping this one's gonna be better than the tesco one i have to apologize about the awful angle i'm clearly not ready yet i i usually have my breakfast and then get ready anyway okay i have high i have high hopes for this Wow, this is so different to the Tesco one. It tastes so vegan-y. And it, this is what it looks like. It, they have used their vegan bacon in it. It's honestly delicious. I actually really, really like that. And that is a sandwich that I would have again and again. The thing with Plant Kitchen is m and food, vegan food range. It's always so good. It's very rare that I've tried a product from their range that's not nice. Guys, I really don't think you're going to be able to understand my excitement right now. I don't think you'll get it. I've got them. I got a hold of the plant based baby bells. I really wanted to try these. These were like probably the thing I was most excited for in Veganuary. I just really wanted to try a vegan baby bell. Oh, guys, look at her. She's so cute. Oh my god, she's so cute. I loved baby bells before I went vegan. Baby bells and cheese strings were like, they were just it, weren't they? They were so good. It smells like I remember a baby bell smelling. Oh my god. Why am I like so, so happy about this little bit of vegan cheese? Okay. Okay. The texture is definitely not a baby bell texture. It is a lot softer. Like it it's like a lot creamier and softer than a baby bell texture but you know how baby bells have this like distinctive taste i feel like these have that taste 
I need another one. I'm in love. So, from what I remember of Baby Bell tasting like, they are very near what I remember. There's definitely differences there. I can taste the texture isn't, a, well, I can sense the texture isn't 100% what the other Baby Bells are. Oh my God, I want to, I'm not going to cry about a fucking bit of cheese, but these are so good. I feel like you need to try. You need to try and get your hands on these. It took me three Sainsbury's to be able to get my hands on them, but I understand the hype. They are so good. Excuse the mess of me, just had the dogs on a walk, so I'm a little bit windswept. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, there's so many products come out for Veganuary that I could easily do part two. If you've enjoyed this one and want to see another part, then let us know. But any video suggestions you've got at all, please do let us know. I really want to know what you want to see. Um, just because obviously I am a bit stuck into what I film. I do vlogs and stuff over on my vlogging channel. But obviously on this channel, it's a little bit harder to come up with content. So any help would be appreciated. And that's all for now. And I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye.